Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for November the 13th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy. <laughs> well, we had, what, about a quarter of the deck fall? I think we're going to have to put that in to be shuffled. Uh, so one card for overall energy, and then after that, I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign. And we're going to look at how those energies work together to get individual meanings for each one along the way. So for overall energy for the day, what are we looking at? Oh, we've got the Page of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So Page of Pentacles in reverse is just talking about that there's some kind of message about um, finances or about material goods, about resources. That is not the kind of message that we like. Um, sometimes this can be, Pentacles can refer to health sometimes too because our health is definitely a resource. Pentacles really just talk about energy. Money is only one expression of energy, okay? So we'll see how this is playing out whenever we look at the cards for each individual sign along the way. Let's get started. Okay, so Aries, you have with this overall energy, basically, this puts you into a situation where you're kind of juggling uh, the budget. You may be having to make some kind of adjustments to make your budget work out today because of that overall energy or that uh, and the message about uh, money or resources that we don't like to hear so much. Let's look at Taurus. Four of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So Taurus, this basically says that um, those of us with Taurus placements are probably taking some resources that we had stashed away and pulling those out and using those to compensate for that overall energy, for some type of negative message about money or about material goods, okay? Then for Gemini, Five of Rods showing up in reverse. This is basically telling me that I think that we are reacting to some kind of news about um, basically our energy or how we feel or the energy or how somebody else feels in our sphere of influence. And we have um, all kinds of different thoughts and ideas sort of running through our head whenever somebody is talking to us about this. So there's obviously some research that needs to be done here whenever somebody comes through with this message. All right, and with that being a page of pentacles in reverse, this message is not like our happiest making message. It's not um, It's not devastating. There are other cards that would be devastating. This is just a message that is not that big of a deal, but it does make us scramble a little bit in our brains to understand exactly what are the consequences. What does this really mean? Next, we're looking at Cancer's. So Cancers, with the overall energy and the Nine of Swords, this just basically says that um, we're feeling really stressed out because of some type of message about uh, money or resources um, that is not the kind of message that we want to hear. You know, this talks about some kind of shortage of money or resources. And so we're feeling pretty stressed out whenever this shows up. Okay, now that was for Cancers, yes. Next, we're going to move on to Leo. All right, so Leo's, what we're looking at here, is the Knight of Cups. With the overall energy of the Page of Pentacles in reverse, basically, I think, Leo, is that you are taking some type of romantic energy or you're trying to pamper somebody in your life. Could be trying to pamper yourself, but for most of you, I think this is somebody else. And you're doing it sort of on a shoestring type of budget. So you're finding some low-cost, effective ways to either pamper yourself or somebody else or to take some type of romantic action. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Seven of Cups coming up in reverse for Virgo with that overall of the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This just means that we've got a situation where we're hearing that our finances or our resources are a little shorter than what we would want them to or they're being used in a way that we weren't expecting. And that is really motivating us to focus in on uh, bringing in what we want into our lives. So manifesting those things that we want. Maybe we're working on manifesting, changing that 
news about money or material goods, or we're working on manifesting an increase in cash flow so that that news is not a big deal. Either way, getting really focused on making some changes here for the positive. Now, uh, Libra's up next. So Libra's, you guys have the sun showing up in reverse. Sun showing up in reverse is interesting. Um, this tells me about um, spending some time with somebody else doing those things that you want to do without anybody breathing down your shoulder or trying to micromanage you, just enjoying your time with that other person or with that group. With the overall energy being the page of pentacles in reverse, you may get a little bit of a surprise during that time that this may be costing you a little bit more than you expected it to cost you, Libras. Next up, we're looking at Scorpio. Page of Cups coming up in reverse, along with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So what's going on here? Two pages. This is really interesting. There's some type of message. Are we hearing this or are we saying this? I think we're saying this message. We're basically... We see somebody who is not really taking care of themselves in a way that makes sense to us. And so I think that we're letting them know how much we care about them. And we're asking them to uh, make a change to that. You know, maybe this is somebody who refuses to make a doctor appointment, even though they don't feel the best. This could be us saying, you know, I really care how you feel and I would like to see you feel better. Will you please go see somebody who can help you do that? That could be the type of messaging that we have coming in here. But we're definitely letting somebody know how much how we feel about them, how much we care about them. And um, I think we're also basically we we know, I think we've already heard the message from them that they are taking less than ideal care of themselves. And so I think we're just kind of saying, hey, I care about you please take care of you type of thing. That's the energy as it seems to me. All right, that was for Scorpios. Next up, we're looking at Sagittarius. Ace of Cups coming up in reverse for Sag. What's happening here? Somebody is showing you their true colors. Oh, that's interesting. So Sagittarius, I think that you're hearing some kind of news about money or about material goods, and it's not the kind of news that we like to hear. And with this Ace of Cups in reverse, somebody is showing you their true colors, which basically means somebody is either they are um, offering to help with the situation and you didn't expect that from them, or they are like just leaving the scene, disappearing, from the scene and you didn't expect that from them but there's something going on here this is really uh sagittarius this is really where you're finding out you know who's actually your friend and who is not whenever you get in this news about money or material goods um, that is not the pleasant news to hear this person is going to be showing you either they're stepping up to the plate and they're helping or they are absolutely not helping and still sticking around or they're just getting completely off the scene because you might ask them to help or you might expect them to help. And this could even be an expense that they help to incur, but you know, you're going to find out who's really a friend, who's really got your back and who is actually walking in integrity and who is just a freeloader. It's going to be very apparent after today. Okay. Now, let's see, who was that? That was Sag. Next up, let's look at Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. I think you're getting some kind of bad news about your payday, about the amount of your payday or about, no, I'm going to say your payday is today, but I'm going to say that it's not as much pay as what you were expecting. Okay. So maybe somebody forgot to put in the bonus that they were supposed to put in, or maybe you miscalculated what you were getting for this week or whatever. I don't even know, but I don't think the payday is as big as you had hoped it would be. It's there. It's not that it's paying out late. It's showing up, but it's just not, it's not 
it's not complete or it's not as big as you thought it would be, one or the other. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. Aquarius, you've got the devil card showing up here. Aquarius, you've got some kind of bad news about money or material goods. And I think this news is coming in from somebody who, um, you know, they have definitely contributed to this bad news being something that needs to be delivered to you. So uh, this could be somebody saying, uh, somebody stole some money out of your wallet. And they would be the one that, guess what? They had a hand in stealing that money out of your wallet. They did. Um, if it's something like that. But this is somebody who, with this, with this devil energy coming up, they're bringing through this message about resources or material goods. They, I don't think they're telling you that they had anything to do with it, to be honest with you. Some of you, maybe, but I don't think they really are, you know. So this could be maybe your nieces and nephews. Maybe you were babysitting them and they were playing ball in the house and they, they broke, you know, something. I'm not even going to put it out there what, but say they broke something. Then they're telling you in this card, they're telling you, oh, this got broke today, da, 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 da. Maybe they're telling you that there was an earthquake in the house while you were at work. Meanwhile, <laughs> they're actually the culprit, but they don't want you to know that. Okay. So you've got something going on where you're hearing some kind of bad news about money or material goods. The person that's delivering the news actually had something to do with the occurrence of this. However, they're not going to be wanting to admit that. They don't want to be honest about it. Okay. So that was for Aquarius. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Pool card showing up in reverse for Pisces. Okay. Pisces, bad news about money or material goods continuing on from before. Okay. So this is telling me that there's some kind of subscription. There's something where somebody, uh, you know, they keep coming back to, they keep giving you bad news about money or material goods. Okay, maybe you have a contractor that, you know, every other day it's like, oh, we found this and now, you know, this has to be done and that's going to be an extra 2000 or an extra 20000 or whatever the case might be. Could be something like that. But you've got some energy where something keeps coming back. For some of you, this is going to be that you've got a charge that keeps showing up in your bank account that you don't remember authorizing and you don't even know how to make it stop. And it just keeps showing up. You know, you may have to get the bank to help you with that. You know, maybe they have to even just close the account completely and you have to redo things if you can't figure out how to get a hold of these people to make them stop with the recurring thing. But this is some kind of bad news that it just, it's like a cycle. It just keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening. We see it continuing forward right here. All right. So it's time to, if you've got a cycle like that going on, it's time to look at that and see, you know, is this really something that I want to allow to keep going on or do I want to put my foot down and stop it? And then if so, how do I do that and start working on it? Okay. So that's what I've got for the day for everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate that so much. You guys are my supporters. So thank you for putting a thumbs up so that this video will get out to more people. Of course, share it with others who may find benefit from it. And on top of that, Put some feedbacks down below. I love to read you guys' feedback. Everybody have a fantastic day. Peace out.